How's it going guys, Butcher's Block here again, and today I have an entry into Lock Picking Coal Miners Giveaway. Congrats on the first hundred subs mate, you're, you're well past that now, but such an awesome milestone, great job. So, I thought I'd pick another Lockwood as I want to do. Um, I've picked a few different Lockwoods on my channel uh, of late. I think this one was the latest. But let's just go with a 334 V45. This was the uh, standard keyway. Um, this one has a pretty, pretty poor bitting. It's a, uh, yeah. Real, real uh, step down flat. Stop stealing the focus, mate. All right, so. All right, let's try and do this guy in the box, eh? Hey? This one is full of acid spools, so let's just go with two polite tension. I think it's a bit grimy inside. That's the only difference between picking these guys when they're new compared to when they've had a little bit of use. You can't, the uh, spools don't just slide into place. There we go, there's our false set. Right. All the way to the back. Was number one. Right, I think it's someone right at the back. Let's just make sure my tension doesn't pull out again. Deep false set. Let's reassess. One feels good. Two feels good. Three. There we go. Got him. Now you put up a bit more of a fight than normal. I think due to uh, it being a bit 
used and abused. Alrighty. Phillips through the shackle hole. Alright. So yeah, you can see this guy's had a bit of use. Alright, lock them back up and the music. So, as uh, normal for the 334Bs, um, just standard Lockwood Asa spools. Uh, the pins were not standard. It has been repinned, as you can see by the uh, the. They're still beveled though which is not, all the ones I've seen repinned before have been the, um, the non-beveled, but these guys do have a little, little bit of beveling. All right, that is all I have for today. Once more, congrats on the uh, milestone, and until next time, uru.